Hi! I'd like to show you some really handy Vim plugins that I use to get around code bases very quickly and efficiently. Now at work, I have to deal with huge amounts of code, and I don't know where to find everything, and I'm not very good at remembering where files are. So I've got some plugins in Vim that make this really, really simple. And the three that I use the most are Command T, Lusty Explorer, and Act.Vim. So let's go over these. Command T is really useful for finding files in a code base if you don't know where they are or even what the file names are called. It does something called fuzzy matching, so you can kind of just get fragments of a file name and path and it'll find it for you. I've got it mapped to leader T and you can see this listing of, direct, uh, this listing of files, but this isn't terribly helpful. I'm currently looking at a JavaScript uh, project, so I can just type JS and I can see everything that's got a JS in the file name string. This is really useful. The code base that we're currently looking at is a, is a JavaScript library of mine called Recapy. So if I wanted to find everything that's, that matches this, uh, the Recapy file name pattern, I can just type that in. So I'll just delete these and type in Recapy, Recapy JS. And I can see everything that's got Recapy and JS in it. So I can just go to something like this, and I can hit Control T to open up in a new tab, and here it is. Really useful. So this is a great way of just getting around the code base very quickly. Now, Lusty Buffer Explorer is, uh, I'm sorry, Lusty Explorer is another, another really cool plugin. It does a few things, but the thing that I use the most is the buffer grep. What buffer grep does is it actually does a live search through, through all of your open buffers and it focuses you on whatever uh, string that you, that, that you typed in. So let's see how that works. I've got it mapped to leader slash and I can just type in whatever I want. So I've got nothing selected so it just shows my open buffers. But if I want to see, for instance, uh, everything that's got actor on it, I can just type in actor and it does a live search for me. Let's get a little bit more specific. Recapy. And I can just hit up or down, and then I can just go to, I, I can hit command, uh, control T again, and it opens it up in a new tab. This is really useful. The last plugin that I use all the time is called ACK.Vim. ACK is a grep type replacement that's more optimized for working with actual code. Uh, I definitely recommend using it, and ACK.Vim is a plugin that makes it uh, integrate really well with Vim. The way that you use it is you just uh, uh, hit the command ACK, and then whatever you're looking for, let's say Recapy, because I know that's in here, and everything in, that's under the source directory. So I'm looking for the string Recapy under the directory SRC. And then I just hit Enter, and it finds everything really, really quickly. And I can just go around, and I can just, you know, basically just, it, this is in the, uh, uh, I believe it's called the fix it window, or the, the live fix window, I forget what it's called, but this little, this little window here, you just hit, enter, uh, just hit the enter key, and it takes you right to whatever you were looking for. So that's really handy. Now, one thing that I, uh, one thing that I do to make X super useful is I've actually got some aliases, uh, so, or some, some, some mapping set up to, so I can just have my cursor on a word, and I'll show you what those, what those look like. Let me just uh, go to my VimRC, which is at tools. Uh, sorry, I forgot the E there. Tools.VimRC. So let me just, oh, let me just get rid of this guy for a second. Cool, let's search for ACK. Okay, so these are really useful. So what this does is that it opens up a new tab and does a search for whatever you want to search for. So I could just hit uh, leader A and I just type in recapy and it shows me everything in that search that I did before. Now this is useful because the default behavior of ACK is to actually um, uh, change the, uh, the buffer that you're in, which isn't super useful. I like to just like quickly search around and like open up, a new, up a new, open up a bunch of new buffers and then just close the ones that I don't need. This might not be your workflow, but it works pretty well for me. So I've got it so it, uh, I just hit leader A and it opens up a new tab and then does the search. The other thing that I do is even more helpful 
is that if I do, if I hit leader big A, you know, capital A, it will actually take the current word under the cursor and then do a search for that. So if I do, for instance, um, let's let's use leader T to find something better, uh, and I do. Now, if I want to see something that's actually, uh, if I want to see all the instances of a list in a code base, I can just hit leader big A, and it searches for everything. So, found list here, list, all of this stuff. So these are just some really handy ways of getting around, getting around a code base very quickly. Um, I use these little tricks all the time, and they've made me incredibly uh, efficient. And hopefully they'll help you too. Good luck.